Hey guys, welcome to another video specific to the Poco X3 Pro. Now, off lately there have been a ton of custom ROMs coming for this device and one pain area which every device experiences is the camera. The camera that is supplied with this ROM is very very basic. You can maybe scan QR code but you can't click decent or amazing pictures. For that we have ANX camera but unfortunately that is not available for this device yet so what do we make do with we will make do with G cam and I found the perfect balance of all the lenses working and how to install it you don't need to have root access but it's just funny when I say that right because you are on a custom ROM anyways in today's video we are going to check how to install G cam on the Poco X3 Pro on any AOSP based ROM but before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where we are about to hit a thousand members and we are doing a ton of stuff. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel and enjoy exclusive perks and benefits. Without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so first things first, what do we have here? We have a custom ROM. We have this OTG connected because my files are there. Ignore that. You can keep it in the internal storage. So first thing to do, very, very simple. Go to the file manager. All right. And for me, I'll go to the folder where I've kept the files. So for me, that's going to be X3 Pro G Cam and this is the apk right so you just need to quickly go ahead and continue and install you have to up allow the permission to install the gcam apk real quick okay then you can go ahead and click on open it'll ask for a bunch of permissions you can allow them as per your convenience but do allow them otherwise you will get an error telegram group bsg okay you can ignore this now there is a down arrow over here tap on this go to settings okay now you do see that save config and load config now it does say that the configs are stored in download mgc this 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 folder right so what we simply need to do is we need to go to the place where you've saved this config which is linked in the description then you need to go ahead and copy to okay the configs folder over here in the download section and click copy okay so it's a small file so it will not take long right you see that it's over here now go ahead and load up gcam again drop down settings select load config go to download okay as you see bsg x3p 20 xml and this so this is the one select this and the camera will restart on its own okay now if you have a look right as you can see portrait mode So not the best lightning, but the camera is working. Now the best part about this particular application is let me show you on the back camera what all features are there and what all do you get. I'll have to actually, you know, disconnect the OTG real quick. Okay. And maybe let's have a subject over here. Something like my headphone, for example, as you can see over here, we are in portrait mode. It's showing all the three lens options. There you go. Now remember over here, when you go to the 0 0.9 lens, the clarity might be a little up and down. The only reason that could happen is because uh, this is the macro lens, this is the normal lens, and this is the wide angle lens. You see in the portrait mode as well, all the three lenses are working. And then if you go to camera, again, you have the macro, then you have the normal lens okay even in video if you can see over here right there you go right so in video you do have slow motion and that is working on all the three lenses that is confirmed as well 
Now, as you can see, there is this screen flicker, or you know, the camera turns off and turns on when you switch between lenses, but that's completely fine. And the fact that you see these flickering on the screen is that means that the slow motion mode is working. Apart from that, you have panorama and photosphere, okay. And if you further go into settings, you have a ton of options like flash, HDR enhanced, Google AWB, night mode, raw, timer. And then if you go to settings, you have a ton of options over here. So if you want, you know, you can go ahead and make changes to all of these configs. There is no problem at all. But you know, this was a quick and easy way of installing Gcam on the Poco X3 Pro on, you know, any custom ROM. It works absolutely fine. There is no problem as such with that. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video, was it helpful or not and were you able to install it or not. Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling, take care, goodbye.